Tucker McCann's got it set up and ready to go. And we are underway from Atlanta. McLeod now on the return. Fielded just outside the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Ray Ray McLeod. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Falcons. So a heck of a start to this one. We haven't even gotten settled in already in the end zone on the opening kickoff. And you know what happens, too? Now, now, now you got to translate what that means because I think for the team that just scored, their defense, I think they'll be more aggressive now. They'll be bolder. They're playing with a lead and an early one and some momentum. So if you're the offensive coordinator on the other side of the field, you better be prepared for some heavy pressure coming your way. They're going to try and get another big score and a big one early. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. It's good, and that gives the Falcons a 7 to nothing lead. So how about that for an intriguing start? The opening kickoff of the ball game, return for a touchdown. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. From his end zone, here's Rashid Shaheed. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. And they will be let out by their 6-3 quarterback. You want to talk about a driven player partner. This guy is absolutely that person. He doesn't just have goals in this game. He wants to be remembered among the best to play the position, and he treats every game as an audition for that. It's a lofty goal to set for yourself, but we've seen his drive lead to some impressive games from him. Perhaps another one is in store today. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Kamara gets it again on second down. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Good, strong, explosive run that started inside, which means you've got to control those defensive linemen, the defensive tackles, the nose guards. Those guys have to be controlled. How about the offensive line, the job they just did? Yeah, key that A-gap usually on those runs, right? That's where it all starts because everyone wants to kind of control that area. It disrupts things from the defensive side and the offensive side. As we just saw, it opens up possibilities. Kamara with a first down run, but he's unable to get back to the line of scrimmage as the push-up field was strong defensively. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. On second down, Kamara. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. A loss of one, now a loss of two, and they're staring at a third and 13. When you're lateral to the line of scrimmage, linebackers keep those shoulders square so they can go up and down. But when it's time to go, turn your shoulders just like a running back. Get through the line and hit the runner in the backfield. From midfield, here's Carr. And throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Yeah, it's still early in the game. No sense taking a chance on third down and forcing one into traffic. So I like the wise play he made there. Get it to the sideline out of bounds where no one's going to have a chance at it. On fourth down, on is Colby Wadman now to punt. Back deep, Ray Ray McLeod. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. 
Leading them out is their 6'2 quarterback who was a fourth-round pick back in 2012, Kirk Cousins. This guy's leadership is so important to how this offense functions. He doesn't shrink from any moments on game day, and everything he does, he does with confidence. He sets the example in practice off the field and is the guy leading everyone out for each possession. Now a first carry here for Robinson. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Now second and seven from the 23. To throw is Cousins. Throw out wide is incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gained from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Now Cousins. Throw left side, there's London. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Ten yards there and a first down for the Falcons. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Going quickly out wide to Moore. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does. And the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the... Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Paulson Adebo. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And they'll take over here following the interception with a chance to tie the ball game. It's first and 10. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Kamara out of the pistol. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Now a second and six. Throwing now is Carr. Got a man complete to Cedric Wilson. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. On first down, Carr. The pass caught by Alave. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it'll be second down. Coming left is Kamara. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. It's been tough sledding on the ground, but after that first down pickup, they've got to gain a little bit more confidence and feel good about starting a new set of downs trying to move the ball. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. 
Working from the gun, it's Carr. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Quarterbacking 101. Never force the ball into double coverage, especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight, you just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Is Shahid going to go in motion? Jet sweep. Carr bats it forward. Now the ball comes loose, and the Falcons grab it. And now off to the races, down the right side. And this is going to be brought back. It's a scoop and score for the Falcon TD. Oh, backbreaker. That'll drive the coach, the offensive coordinator, just crazy. You get it all the way down there in the red zone, can't capitalize. Instead, they go the other way on the fumble return for a touchdown. How about the aggressiveness of the defense, though? They're not about to just fall on a fumble, are they? Scoop and score is their motto, and they just did it. Two now for the point after. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The New Orleans offense set to take over. They find themselves in a good size hole here and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Here's Carr. This one finds Wilson downfield. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. They hit that crossing route really well. Excellent timing, puts it right on him, and he keeps running. Yeah, turned it upfield for good yardage. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Now Carr. Finding Johnson on the out route. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. The Saints passing game in sync and moving the football. It's a first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. Carr going to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for knock. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Now Carr. And that is 
incomplete. The third down battle won by Atlanta's defense. Solid coverage. And this defense definitely in his head there on third down, and he's pretty fortunate. They didn't call for grounding on this one. That was a good 10 feet over everyone's head. On fourth down on is the punter, Colby Wadman. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And a dump off here to Robinson. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta, second quarter action. The Falcons with the football. As they've got it with a second and three forthcoming. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. He's got his man, London, right side. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. How about this? They'll try the option. Left side. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Working out of the gun, Cousins. Short throw caught by Pitts. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Cousins. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. Robinson on a give right side. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. This second and four. To throw, Cousins. And this will be caught by Mooney. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Cousins now to throw on first down. Checks this one down to Robinson. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. From the 33, here's second down and seven. Back to the ground with Robinson. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. 
Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep a defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. This now a third and four. Cousins now. Short throw caught by Pitts. And he is going to have a Falcons first down. He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. This defense could use a few more plays like that right now. It certainly could, but think about it from an offense's perspective right now. They've got a lead, but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves. Still want to move at a nice pace. Off the play fake, Cousins. A quick throw there is incomplete. What will look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. Throwing Cousins. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Rondell Moore, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Falcons go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost, and that's a good thing to see. Great quality to have, and you absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback. But I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just the second drive, they've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, in, put them to good use on that one. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And it's now 21 to nothing. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Oh, a good looking return set up here. He's past the 30. He will score. Touchdown, Saints. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam and he got a full head of steam there. Tucker McCann now for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21-7. to And what a job there by all 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent, the return excellent. The result, six points. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. 
A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Now Cousins. That's complete to Mooney. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Cousins. There's Mooney with another catch. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. Cousins to throw it. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. Now a second and ten. Here's Cousins. He's going to drop this underneath for Robinson. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148 yard line and ended at the other. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Again, it's Cousins. They'll get this complete to Charlie Warner. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 31-yard line. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. First down, here's Cousins. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Here's second and ten. Throwing his Cousins. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 13-yard line. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, Cousins. And it's caught. And the Falcons are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. 
Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. Kuhn knocks this one through the post, and they will open things up a bit more. It's 24 to seven. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a strong first half for the veteran quarterback, Kirk Cousins. He's got a touchdown through the air as his guys have raced out to a gigantic early lead. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any of those coordinators? They just don't have it, right? <laughs> You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit, as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll set up a throw. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A Saints first down there on a gain of 11. And you start to think if it's going to happen for these guys, it's got to start with this drive. Down three scores, they need to start making some inroads. And that'll help the cause there as they pick up good yardage and a first down. 
Kamara up the middle. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. From midfield, here's Carr. And that one too wide and incomplete. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Shotgun now for Carr. And that will be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Here comes the Saints punter now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds. And they'll spot it right at the 20. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's their first possession of the second half now. On first and 10, Cousins. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now Cousins. And his throw here is incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. To throw is Cousins. That is caught. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. To the air again, it's Cousins. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. From the 35, here's a second down and nine. Again, it's Robinson. And a short gain down to about the 33. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Working out of the gun, Cousins. Into the hands of London. 
And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 22-yard line. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. They go play action. Cousins. That's going to be caught by Pitts. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Play action now. Cousins. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Oh, my. You know that that's one that he'll want to have back. I mean, they did everything right. Got the linebackers commit on the play action. He just flat out missed. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. A give left side to Robinson. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. To throw, Cousins. Throw left side. There's London. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. They'll run for it with Robinson, and he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. B. John Robinson. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Falcons' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Well, this defense held out as long as they could, but ultimately the running game wears them down from the one-yard line. And that gets set up throughout the entire drive, doesn't it? And when you put those big bodies and determination into that carry, the end result, touchdown. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and the lead is now 24. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The New Orleans offense back out and ready to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara, and he put up a good fight, but he's going to be taken down behind the line of scrimmage. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Carr now to throw. Wilson's got it complete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. 
Here's Carr. He's going to have the first down and more than that. And he'll take it to the 43-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And that's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. On first down, Carr. They'll set up the screen now to Camara. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, they certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Car to throw again. Alave holds it in. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. From the 31, here comes second and a yard. Now Carr. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. There, they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Carr now on first down. And his throw is incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Let's go get him now. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. A little short pass here to Hill. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. The Saints on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and four. Try on the left side with Kamara. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. A rough go there on third down, a loss of four. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense was pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame wolfing has turned into results. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now Carr, got to have this one. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Saints' decision to go for it backfires. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. Uh, the D brought the house. They called the blitz, and they get to the quarterback, overwhelming the O-line. And I would love to know, and we'll find out later on, was that called before the play? Or did they audible into it? Because defenses change plays as well as offenses. Sometimes they get the set they want. They go right to the blitz. And in this case, they nailed it. Got right to the quarterback. No chance on that fourth down. They start on the ground with Robinson here. There he goes, right side. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. But well, they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game. That's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But I've got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides. But to see the ball in a running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. 
And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Second down and a run by Robinson. And again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. On third down, Robinson. And this won't be enough. A good, secure tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. It's a seven-yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And, you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Set to take over once again. Out comes the Saints offense. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Complete to Alave on the out route. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Second down and six now from the 26. Throwing now is Carr. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Carr able to locate his running back, Kamara, and he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now second and nine. Now, Carr again. And this one is incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. Now Carr, escaping the pressure right. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Carr can beat you in a lot of ways. The scramble there, a perfect example as he gets the first. No surprise to see his sideline fired up by that big play. Heck, we're fired up, and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. The pass caught by Alave. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second and a couple. To throw his car. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. 
They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Now Carr. They'll get this out to Kamara. And he is going to have a Saints first down. At least it appears that way. And he got it by maybe the length of a football. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Carr now on first down. Going for the deep ball. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, these guys are not going to go out with their tails between their legs. They're going to keep taking their shots until the clock's at triple zeros. But that one, like a lot of others, winds up incomplete. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he can't hang on to it, and the screen never got started. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Again, it's Carr. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Now defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town. And now the ball's out. Carr lost it. Fumble. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. And I don't know that that fumble's going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point. But being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. And he tries to keep the legs churning, but he's going to be stopped behind the line. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight real. It's not going to make the highlight real, but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays, and they actually fast forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Falcons here as we say so long from Atlanta.